out. Um, I I know people that have been on things since they were five years old. Yeah, and they're in their forties. Yeah. yeah, and then you have wastebasket diagnoses like ADD and ADHD, where you know what used to be a spoiled brat is now ADD or ADHD. Right. So they start prescribing. Um, these Ritalin. neocortical stimulants like Ritalin. And if you give a kid that does not need a neocortical stimulant, a stimulant, you're really going to throw them off the charts now because you're, you've got a normally active brain that you're now making hyperactive. So you're creating a problem that didn't exist before you gave him the medication because you didn't do the proper diagnosis. Yeah, I had my old neighbor had a situation like that. They had a kid, and the kid was just had a lot of energy, and they <clears> weren't <throat> paying attention to him. And so they started medicating him. It's insanely yeah. common. Yeah, and you, you cannot chemically babysit your children. And who knows where these kids are going to be 20, 30 years from now. I mean, we're just looking at you know, this rash of people being treated for <clears> these ailments air quotes and then we're, we're not seeing how this all turns out in the long run and how much damage we're doing to these people no and, and <clears throat> in fairness on the other end of the continuum i have seen some people that are clearly psychotic uh, schizophrenics delusional that without medication are absolutely impossible to manage but if you put them on antipsychotics and so you can lower their delusional behavior, their hallucinatory behavior, so you can now have a meaningful conversation with them so they can respond to talking therapies. It makes all the difference in the world. And without those antipsychotics, you would be lost yeah. without them. So there are some medications for some disorders that are absolute miracles that without them you wouldn't be able to do the work you need to do to get the person back where they need to be. Yeah, unquestionably. I mean, there's definitely a lot of great pharmaceutical drugs that help a lot of people. Do you get pushback from a lot of these positions from uh, the established medical community? You know, sometimes, but, uh, you know, mostly when you talk to people about it thoughtfully, um, they agree with with what... I'm saying, I mean, most people will agree that you need to be thoughtful about uh, prescribing medications and that medications are too readily administered. I mean, that's certainly what we've seen in the opioid epidemic right now. Um, opioids are so readily prescribed right now that there are enough opioid prescriptions for every man, woman, and child in America to have their own bottle. And if you renew that prescription one time, one time, if you are taking those opioids at the seven-day mark, your chance of being addicted at one year is one in 12. And if you renew it at, if you're still taking them at 30 days, your likelihood of being addicted is one in three. 